Hey guys, today I thought I would share with you one of our favorite family recipes, a super easy to make shepherd's pie. Most of it is from scratch, so for the most part it is healthy for you. Um, we have hamburger, a uh, can of condensed tomato soup, we have a bag of frozen mixed vegetables, and then mashed potatoes and some cheese and a little bit of butter on top. So it's a good um, it's a good meal for us to cook in the winter. It's really filling. It has vegetables in it. It's kind of like an all-in-one um, meal, and it's very easy to freeze ahead of time as well. So we like to do double batches and stick one in the freezer for a future meal. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so I have my baking dish here, and I am going to. Um, grease it just because then that way if it cooks too long things won't stick usually nothing really sticks unless we kind of forget it in the oven so I'm just gonna take grease it with the butter we're all out of cooking spray so usually we would just spray it okay so your next step after you have your greased baking dish now um, a normal size is actually an eight by eight. That's a good size to have like for a full meal for probably, I'd say four people, um, maybe even a little more if you're gonna do some side dishes with it or something. Usually we don't have side dishes with this since it has vegetables and everything in it. So I'm gonna take and do half of our meat in this. This is like a two pounds of uh, meat and you can use any kind of ground meat that you want. It's really delicious with ground lamb. Um, but this is a pound of ground lamb and a pound of ground beef from our freezer. Okay, so we have two pounds of ground beef or venison or lamb or you could use pork pounds of ground brown ground meat and then um, you're going to take condensed tomato soup and straight out of the can and you're just going to pour it in Okay, so before I add this second can, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Hey, Lil, can you turn on the lights for me, the other lights? I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper. It's okay. And then add the second can. Normally I would scrape these out with a spatula, but our spatula hit the thing in the dishwasher and melted. So I cannot get anything out with it because it is melted. Okay, so we have two cans of tomato soup and two pounds of ground ground meat spread it out so it's kind of even kind of flat got some salt and pepper on there then the next step is the vegetables so i'm just using a bag of mixed vegetables of carrots, green beans, corn, and peas, and you just evenly spread it on top. Ah, I'm spilling everything everywhere. And since I'm using, these are the 12 ounce bags, but since I'm using two cans, I'm gonna use two bags of these. 
Now all this can be adjustable by taste. So I plan on, if I'm using these 12 ounce bags, which kind of seems to be all that's available now. Give me the scissors. Um, I'll do Um, doing a big pan the I think it's 9 by 13 pan of this I will use two cans of tomato sauce two pounds of meat two of the smaller bags the 12 ounce bags of vegetables and then I cover the top with mashed potatoes um, so it's like a one one to one to one ratio so that's super easy to remember. I don't need to write it down. Make sure you add a little bit of salt and pepper in there as well, but super easy dish. Very, very easy. Okay, so the frozen veggies are there. If there's any clumps, break those up. And then the last, or almost the last step, is mashed potatoes. So we're going to take mashed potatoes and to start we're going to dollop them on top. Okay, so I'm just going to take and put a few dollops of butter in different spots throughout it. I already have one there. There we go. Doesn't need to be a lot, just for some extra flavor. Everything's better with butter, right? And then the final step is just a little bit of cheese. Um, I'm using Cheddar Jack. I'm gonna use some type of like cheddar cheese, just a little tiny bit. You don't need tons. Just to give it a little extra flavor. Okay, so at this point, this is when um, you can either freeze it or put it in your oven. So I have mine. My oven's set for 350, and um, it is ready to go in. In there. Once it, the cheese on top gets melted and it gets bubbly, then it's ready to go. It's been baking for 45 minutes and it is done. Let's show you what it looks like. The sides are all bubbly. The top is starting to get golden. So 45 minutes is the magic number. You wanna take it out, Lil? Perfect. That is heavy. Yeah, I know, it's a double batch. And there it is. You can see in the corner here where it started bubbling up. So when we say that it's bubbling, that's what we mean. But if you have a glass pan, you can see it bubbling in there as well. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we will see you next time.